Brand design at its highest level is a practice of deeply understanding your customer and producing an identity that evokes the ideal gut feeling. This often requires weeks or even months of research, ideation, iteration and planning to come to a final brand identity design. And today I'm going to attempt to compress that whole process into just 20 minutes. Yes, that's right, I've decided to take on the 20 minute brand identity design challenge that both Ran and Matt have both successfully achieved. This is basically where I'll get a randomized brief from brief.io and have to create a full brand identity in just 20 minutes off whatever it comes up with. My goal for this 20 minutes is to first produce a simple brand strategy that includes a business name, four brand keywords, a persona, and then market positioning. And then I'll move into the design phase where I produce a logo, typography, color, and some brand rollout. I'm seriously feeling the pressure right now, so wish me luck and let's get into this. All right, so let's jump into good brief and see what we get. So we're gonna go with type, brand identity, and then industry, we're gonna stick with random to keep it as interesting as possible. And let's see what we get. All right, so we offer a variety of local destinations, okay? We are able to provide authentic local guides because of our staff in every location. Our target audience is married couples. Okay, nice. We want to convey a sense of wonder while at the same time being gentle. I mean, yeah, that feels like it kind of makes sense. We've got some wonder from going around the world, just different destinations, local guides. I mean, that all does feel fairly, I mean, gentle, I'm not sure about, <laughs> but you know, there's some. There's a bit of a narrative happening there. So we must uh, create a total branding package within five days. Okay. Well, how about 20 minutes? Uh, let's copy this, bring it into XD, and uh, and get started. So first of all, copy this in here. And just to give you a bit of a, an idea, this is the kind of template that I'm going to try and work with. We're going to see if we can work through as much of this as we can within 20 minutes. So um, let's get started. Let's let's uh, hit the clock and uh, and see how far we can go. 20 minutes starting now. Okay. So, first thing I'm gonna do is pull out some of the keywords. I think what I wanna try and achieve is get four brand keywords that will help us define the brand and get a bit of a feeling of what the gut feeling should be. So, a variety of local destinations, we are provide authentic, that's, that's definitely one, so let's highlight that. Local guides because of our staff in every location, okay. Target audience is married couples, that's interesting for sure. Let's pull that out, we can convey a sense of wonder, and being gentle, okay, and it's local as well. Um, now actually, local guys with every location in local areas, so it's still quite well defined. We don't know where in the world this is, so we can kind of make a guess on that. Um, but we're definitely getting a few different ideas from this. Now, the other thing that we wanna try and do is create a brand name. Um, and this is probably not gonna be very good, so let's just quickly think about what would a good brand name for this be? So um, it's interesting that it's gonna be from married couples, um, it's almost like a kind of romantic, I'm thinking of this as a like kind of romantic getaway um, type thing. Um, so um, let's see, like couple retreats. Yeah. Couple trips, something like that. Uh, travel, travel duo. There's certain keywords that I'm kind of pulling out from this. I think the, the married couple, there, there's a real niche there. There's a real spin on that. So I think we should definitely be playing on that for sure. Um, married couples, uh, romantic getaways. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, what else would be nice? Local, variety of local destinations. We are able to provide authentic local guides with our staff in every location. Every location, but in local, it just seems to be contradictory. That's what you get with these random generators. Um, let's see, wonder, wonder trips, wonder trips. Um, and gentle is a very interesting aspect here as well. I think I'm going to pause on the brand names, but there's a few. There's a few keywords being pulled out there. I'm gonna just quickly, I think we can get these four brand keywords. Now to say, really helpful to have four words just to say, what is the gut feeling of the brand that we want to convey? So, um, authentic, definitely, is one. I think local could be another one. A feeling, a feeling of it kind of being isolated in, in, a, in a kind of one specific area, perhaps it's a specific state or a specific county if it's the UK. Um, married couples, so it could be kind of maybe relationships could be or, or something or, or romantic. I'm getting romantic uh, vibes from this. Don't know about you guys. 
but uh, that's where I'm going with it. Wonder, of course, and gentle. Very nice. So it's more like, I mean, married couples, gentle, I'm thinking it's more of like a kind of, we go to these locations, we do a gentle, it's more like a spa kind of treatment type of thing. I'm thinking I'm getting a bit of a, a bit of a narrative through these ones. So let's see, authentic, wonder, local, gentle. Perhaps not local, actually. Local seems a bit vague. So I'm going to go with romantic. Yeah. So here we go. So th these four keywords are going to really guide us in terms of the aesthetic. We've got a bit of a story kind of for something to be. It's an authentic experience for couples that will have a romantic, kind of a wonder, something that inspires awe, that has this kind of gentle, slow pace to it. It's not going to be some sort of crazy adventure. It's going to be something that's more kind of spa treatment. So we're starting to kind of get this idea of what the brand is all about. And it's all kind of encapsulated in these four keywords. We'll keep those in mind as we go. Let's just quickly check our time. Wow, time does fly, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> let's keep going. So what we're gonna go with, couples retreats, uh, roman romance retreats. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, married couple. Uh, couple. Uh, um, authentic, romantic, one, one, I, I like the word wonder as well. Wonder retreats. Maybe that's going to be it, you know, because I don't think it really matters too much. <laughs> I think we need to get into it. So wonder retreats, I'm going to say is the one. Wonder retreats for couples. Great. Our target audience is married couples. Couples. I'm going to say, let's just go with big, big market, US. Okay. Um, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be like 40 plus. Something like that. So this is our kind of general talk. We're not going to spend too much time doing this, but idea we build our persona. Market positioning, we can quickly say it's going to be authentic. So what I'm going to do here is just say it's authentic, and then on this side of the of the chart, in authentic. And what I'm going to do is use this this chart, this this x and y axis, to help us plot where they're positioned in the market versus what other competitors might be. You know what I'm going to say is like go gentle. Ooh, if I can get the spelling right, that'd be great. Versus um, adventure. So this is actually more of an adventurous, uh, a gentle set thing. So we're going to be kind of positioning it here if we're on the on the axis. So very authentic and very gentle. Whereas I think other competitors would probably be more adventurer, adventurous based, or perhaps not even that authentic. So these two signify the competitors. This is where we can position the market. So we're going to try and utilize this difference and, and highlight it in the brand. So. I think that's enough said on the brand strategy side. Let's get into some designing now that we've got only 13 minutes left. Okay, now I'm thinking already about some different typography approaches. So I think the first thing we want to try and do, bring Wonder Retreats in. And there's probably a variety of ways we can approach this, this typography. Um, I'm feeling like it's something along the lines of maybe Recoletta could be really nice. It's got this kind of authenticity to it. Um, it feels quite natural. It's feel, it feels a little bit romantic too. I'm gonna to bring these keywords again and just keep them present. It's really helpful just to have them just you know, visible so you can kind of keep yourself pinned to them, making sure that they guide you. So authentic, romantic, wonder and gentle. That definitely already, that typography definitely kind of gives that feeling. Um, there are some other right thoughts. I, I would say maybe Cooper has got like a nice authentic feel to it. See how that looks. Got a similar kind of feel, doesn't it? Very nice. Um, and then I think another spin off of Cooper that's quite nice, similar vibe is Mac, uh, P22 Mackinac. Yeah. These, the, I, I'm feeling like these, this kind of, you know, s s serif, it feels a bit romantic. It gives you that sense of wonder. Now, which one of these? And also, do we want it to be heavy or do we want it to be. Uh, I don't think so. I think gentle. So I think the fact that this is a light, a light font, I think could be the way to go. I'm pretty sure we don't want to go capitalized. That feels too intense. Um, I think perhaps lowercase or lowercase may not be right. I think it's, you know, we go with something that's traditional. Um, it's going, we're going for a little bit of an older audience. So I think, you know, keeping it capitalized first letter is good. Title case, however you pronounce that. So I'm liking this direction. Definitely liking this direction uh, in terms of the typography. There is something gentle. Now, trying to differentiate between these is gonna be a little bit tough. My gut is telling me already, I think my first my first one 
uh, with record letter is a lovely font. So I'm going to do this and bring it across. We might start to think about that as our logo. So let's see. Is there anything else we can do with this? Hmm. Do we want to be a bit more robust? Maybe. Sometimes it can be just nice for as a logo to have that kind of weight and that he he heavy, he like heaviness to it. Um, but in this instance, it might be nice to keep it quite light, um, just to kind of keep it on that on that brand on that brand feel. So, the sense of authenticity, wonders. And there's also the trying to create a logo mark that would go along with this. I'm going to stick with this for now as our a light font. Um, now, a logo mark that will bring together some of the story. So we have it. It's for married couples. So I like the idea of there being two, like two of the same or similar things kind of almost merging. Um, my instant thought is kind of, it's like, I'm gonna go with something quite basic, okay? So just, you know, the, the usual pin, you know? Um, so perhaps there's something nice we could do like this. Um, you know, get these two pins, they're, they're together, they're like a married couple. Maybe if we applied a multiply to that or something, could, do two different colors, perhaps complementary colors. Complementary being when they're on the opposite ends of this, the color wheel. So red and blue can potentially work. Um, yeah, let's see, how, how do we want this to feel? Authentic, romantic. Romantic as well, romantic, I mean red comes through as romantic. Wonder, I think also that maybe a green as well could be good because it's kind of, it's meant to be natural, right? Um, we're, going, we're going out, we're going to locations and it's going to be like that. So maybe we can tightly explore this. Could be interesting. Could be interesting. Something's something's happening, isn't it? <laughs> um, how are we getting on for time? Okay, we're we're past the midway point, so we've got to get we've got to get moving. Um, looking at this, I mean, I wonder whether there's any, any different ways. I'm going to keep duplicating because uh, you know pixels are free, and we can just keep trying different things. I think we need to maintain. This form, I think that's about right. I think perhaps we can actually make this a little bit more well executed, a little, little better executed. So we can just do this. Now, usually, I would actually use Illustrator to create this, but since we're against the clock, I think XD will do the trick. That feels a bit more robust, doesn't it? That's nice. I mean, what I could potentially do, I did bring, I did keep Illustrator open. And we might want to explore just rounding it out to give it a little bit more of a softer. Feel. Maybe that feels a bit more considered. I think I, think I like that a little bit more. So let's bring that back in. Um, once again, let's do this. Let's paste that back in. Good. Yeah. Um, the red is feeling a bit too punchy, vibrant for me. Um, I think, yeah, again, this is for like a bit of an older audience. I think going too vibrant, maybe not be the, the feel, but something a bit more, yeah, a bit more subdued. Um, so I'm like quite liking that red. And then whether we compare that with a kind of greenish blue, again, doesn't feel too punchy. Maybe something along these lines. Fade it out a little bit. It's starting to get a little bit more. And then again, Let's see what we can do with um, just creating a little bit of opacity. Yeah, okay, so, okay, I'm, I think I'm starting to like where we're getting to with this. I always have a tendency to love these kind of bluish greens. Um, having a bit of blue in the green is, is, is really nice. So I think I could explore, now I'm, I'm actually looking at this and thinking, Wonder Retreats are starting to look a bit too light versus the heaviness of the logo mark. So I think it may be the right way to go, to go a little bit heavier. Yeah, that feels a bit more together, doesn't it? Um, and I'm wondering whether, under retreats, wonder we wanna do something like this, have them on top of each other, maybe, let's see. Yeah, just to, um, and just like, close it in a bit, make it a bit more of a unified, unified mark, let's see. Could be nice. Let's just make it a bit smaller, perhaps. Yeah, that feels quite nice in a way because there's a there's a kind of curve here, and it matches a little bit with the curve there. Um, yeah, I'm starting to like where we're going with this. Don't know what you guys think. 
Um, these location pins, we could give it a bit more detail, these locations, we go with a classic kind of, um, give them each a, a little dot. I don't know if that's going to break the design, but we'll see. Let's see if that works. Is that centered? Does that work? It's kind of, com it's, there's a bit of conflict going on, but at the same time, it kind of gives them a bit more of an identity, doesn't it? A bit more of a, a bit more of a uniqueness. It kind of makes it feel a bit more like two people in in my mind, uh, almost like two eyes. <laughs> Not sure if that's the that's the look we're going for. But that's interesting. Uh, let's keep going. I want to give us a bit of time to to actually uh, roll out this brand as well. So let's just see where we're at. Six minutes. Okay, well, we want to probably get moving pretty soon. So um, I think I'm liking where we're at with this. Um, I think perhaps maybe let's see what this looks like when these are slightly. Opaque, no, I don't think that's working. Mm. So the question is, do we want the, the dots or do we want them without? This looks a bit empty. Or do we want them to be, again, a bit smaller? What's the best? What do we reckon? What do we reckon? Hmm. Okay, you know what? When in doubt, go minimal. <laughs> We're going we're gonna to stick with that. So we've got Wonder Retreats. There we have it. Location pins, but two to kind of denote uh, the marriage, the two people together, going to some location. Um, we've got this record letter to give it that kind of authentic, nice feel. So let's, let's see what we can do next. In terms of color, we already have uh, got a few colors going. So let's just um, bring those in as our two predominant colors. We have, what we'll do is have two pr primary colors. This one is red and this one. And um, and then what I'll do as well, actually, I might look at this. We're currently using just a simple, I think, black, right? Maybe it's nicer to go something a bit more faded. It could be nice to complement this with the blue, something that feels a bit more. So it's just, just a subtle shift, darker blue. Maybe that's a bit more unified. That, to me, feels a bit more like it's together. So I like that. So what I'm going to do is just capture that blue as well. And that'll be our, like, our main typography blue. Just capture that. Great, so we're starting to get a few colors going. Now, I'm not sure if I wanna, I, I think if I had more time, I'd probably massage this middle middle color here and give maybe maybe bring this blue into it. Maybe the, maybe a super quick way I can do that. Uh-oh, I'm gonna get too into the weeds here, aren't I? This is, this is the problem. What you can do is just do that. Let's stick that on there. And then just turn it into this. Does that work? I think that works. Yeah, good, all right. We'll stick, we'll stick with that. Um, and so that can be our, yeah, that can be our kind of, may, maybe it needs to be a little bit lighter, but I, anyway, we'll leave it, we'll leave it. I can get too carried away. Um, maybe kind of just gonna bring in a, a, a background tone and shade in, but those could be some simple colors to work with, which is nice. Now, messaging. This is where we get into kind of thinking of what kind of messaging would be useful on a website, just to check where we're at. Three minutes, good, we've got a bit of time. Um, so what I'd like to do is think about what's the customer problem. So the customer problem could be something like you know stress. Um, you know they could be they could want to improve their relationship, their marriage, and want to do something romantic and nice. So um, relationship, do something romantic. Yeah. So yeah, have more romance. Yeah. So these are the kind of things that the customers. Uh, struggling with having a, a problem with. So how do we resolve that problem? This is how we're gonna start to create some messaging. Um, the solution is to go on a break, one of these wonder retreats, uh, and get outdoors. And then the result, the end benefit, would be lower stress, yeah, um, a, a happier marriage, let's say. We're promising a lot here with just a, a retreat, but let's give it a go. Um, and um, yeah, I think, um, yeah, like more like a feeling of fulfillment. Apologies for any spellings, but we're, gonna, we're moving fast. So what we can do is here, we're actually producing a framework to think, okay, what would effective messaging be? Instead of just saying, you know, this this is our solution, we just we just do this, we just 
to, you know, take you to the outdoors and do a retreat. What we're going to say is we do retreats that help you lower stress, that, that fulfill you, that give you um, a happier sense in your marriage and so on. That we're, we're going to the end benefit. And by doing that, it helps us um, resonate more with the customer. So always really important to think about what's the end benefit um, of, the, of the service that you provide. Okay, checking the time. Okay, we've got one more minute. Now, what I'd usually like to do is bring this together um, into, um, into a website, but we haven't got time for that today. But what I think we could do is maybe just like, there could be a fun pattern that we could create. So let's just take this green. Maybe something like this. You know, we could use a pattern throughout the brand, something like that. Group them together, repeat. Something like that. That looks a bit, a little bit like tears, <laughs> which is probably not the feeling we want. But we're against the clock. But it'd be quite interesting to see. Maybe if we actually go with the red, that feels a bit more romantic. Yeah, that's nice. And also, actually, I just realised there's a love heart as well, which we could probably go with as well. It definitely has a nod to the love heart, doesn't it? If you kind of put these together in a slightly different way, if you tilted them, that's going to be a whole different thing. Um, so anyway, there's, there's a potential pattern there we could use. Um, what's great about this is you can kind of do that quick changes. Um, brand elements, yeah. And I think, yeah, in terms of just typography in, in general, we've gone with Recoletta as our title font. Um, and I wonder whether there's anything we could do with a different, different font as our body copy. Let's see. How are we doing for time? No, uh, we've, really, <laughs> we've got one second. So there we are. We're we're done. So let's uh, let's turn that off. All right. Well, we got fairly far. We managed to go through the brief. We came up with the name, four brand keywords to give the brand identity a bit of a kind of gut feeling. Uh, we put together a target audience, very roughly, but ideally we put on a bit more of a persona together. We identified their unique positioning in the market, and then what we did is put together a logo, color, messaging, and some brand elements. To, to execute on this. And now, as I said, I usually would love to bring this together into a website to really kind of put everything into context so you can see how all this plays together and works together. So I think what will be great, let me know if, in the comments if you'd like to see a video where I put all this together in a website uh, and maybe do another 20 minute challenge for that. So that could be a lot of fun. Anyway, hope this has been helpful. I hope that you've learned a little bit by going through this with me. This has been a lot of fun and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>